She has the qualities of a queen. Anyways, that's just my video, uh, YouTube random playing. So yeah, today, uh, so yeah, good afternoon, everybody. So today I just will make a video, but first I would like to say thank you to everybody who watched my channel or watched my my video that I just recently did. I think last week. So yeah, thank you for your amazing responded for those of you who commented on the video. And also your amazing comments on Facebook and stuff like that. So, so thank you everybody. I just, you know, my page is mostly sharing my own experiences. And yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody has their own experiences. But I just thought I should, should share them and share with everybody out there who, who might have the same experience as me. Or who might, you know, learn something. So anyway, so thank you everybody. So, and otherwise, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. I was volunteering here and there, a few events here. And yeah, and the week started, of course, work and other person stuff. So yeah, my week is good so far. We're in the middle of the week, so just hold on. We're almost there, the end of the weekend or weekend. Anyway, so to my topics that I want to talk about today. Uh, my topic today will be mostly sharing my own experiences about education in general so it'll be mostly around elementary school high school and college so those are just the main the main areas that i would say i had more i uh, yeah i was able to learn or able to understand what's going on so but like kindergarten i have no idea you just like you're <coughs> at that age everybody's young so yeah so first of all i would start off with elementary school uh, with the elementary school, with elementary, <laughs> I can't even say it. With the elementary school, it's a little bit, um, it's a bit of like the beginning of education, or it's not the beginning. I mean, like formal education. You probably have been home, like being taught by your parents about informal education, things that you need to have in life and stuff like that. But for we're talking about mostly is formal education. Uh, for high, for elementary school, I feel like you're like you're still young. Like for example, if a young girl out there like me. You're just still young. I think the most focus you have to do literally is focus on focus on doing education, you know, like go to school. There's other things you need to do here. Enjoy your youth. I remember playing around a lot of the time and just enjoying the moment, like enjoying like the things that life throws you as a kid. You go to school. I remember coming back from school and I had no, no motivation to study. So I just go and play but after that it was like, oh okay I forgot my homework so don't if you're a young girl out there still in elementary school try as much as you can to enjoy your childhood you know you're still a child like you haven't even grow up yet so just enjoy your childhood and enjoy it as much as you can because at this age right now where I am I'll be like oh so you kind of like look back and I'm like oh my god I missed out that or I missed to do this so it's just most important just enjoy your childhood and yeah well, you're still young enjoy it you're a teenager you haven't even reached any other age so i will record recommend you to enjoy doing your education and don't focus on other things you know other things will come later and life is just very it's kind of like a step step but don't jump yeah don't jump you can jump when it comes to decision making but don't jump when it comes to actual life let it be and enjoy your time and for high school, for me, I would say it's the stage where we're growing up. We're being we're growing up from being a teenager. You're still like a teenager there yet. Yes, I can say. But as a teenager, like you're in that age of 14, 15, 16 to like 19 uh, or 18, whatever you are in high school. I know this is an age where everything is chaotic. <laughs> like I would say... At that time, you feel like you're being a man. If you're a man, is that time you're growing up as a girl. You start experiencing different things. You're kind of freaking out, like, oh my god, what's going on with me? Uh, and that's the age where also, like, you start feeling like you need to start dating and stuff like that. And and to be honest with you, like, if you're one of a girl who's, like, like if you're one of a girl who's not really into relationships, I'd take your time. Say, hey, I'll, I'll take my time until the time I'm ready, you know. And yeah, and focus on education too. Like, I don't mind you to do your education, whatever it is. Uh, also, you know, 
do not focus too much on relationships because at the end of the day you're going to be, you're going to be in relationship anyways but the thing of found relationship is do not rush them like take your time you know and if you're not really ready to take that relationship just just, just say hey i'm not ready to take it and nobody's going to force you to do it okay um and also you're we're, we're growing up into being adult and not like actual adult but like a 19 18 yeah some people grow up really fast so those people can either figure out their things really quickly but we're, but also some people do not really grow up that fast so they also still have to like you know go out and and ask for advice from your teachers i remember my favorite is when i go to my teachers when i was in high school uh, just just go to your teachers and talk to them and ask them questions and for me I was just very interested in science so I was just like very going out and for me um, the difference comes in it depends which school you're in I was in a boarding school so for me it was just it was just like the first the first month of the school opening until the end of the semester you're literally in the whole time you're in school so we never got a time to get out so for me to get out and, and see the world, it's just like, oh, hey, start doing stuff in school. So I started engaging in like um, symposium so that I can go out of school, which is really good because it just kind of help you to see the outside. You can't, you can't just be in every time. I know I understand some schools are really a bit strict, but yeah, like at that moment, like I would say um, you don't have to be too rebellious because that thing is going to teach you something later on and be like, oh wow, I should have listened to my teachers or something like that. So if you're in a boarding school, just listen to your teachers because they are just like your parents too. They're like your parents in a boarding school. And for those of you who are still like not in a bo never going to a boarding school or we're just like in a regular school, just know as much as you, just know that listen to your teachers. Like don't just like assume that they're not, you know, any other parent out there. They're just parents, but at the same, but at the other side, they are teachers. In, in a formal uh, setting and yeah and also like in this age in high school that's where like relationship become very overwhelming there's relationship be like there's breakups and stuff like that and everything and you feel like you if you feel like your relationship is not really working out as you see just just take a break and see how the thing go and yeah I know it's one of those ages a little bit harder and don't forget to do something volunteer and stuff like that i find volunteering is very important i i found a lot of time when i f came to canada that's when i found like volunteering uh was really like valuable a lot of the time because not just when i came to canada but other places value um like um volunteering because volunteering is a really good experience some people part actually like hire you for the job because you have experience in volunteering so yeah, so keep that in mind as a bit of what I can say about high school, not too much, and just like, you know, listen to your parents, listen to advice from people. This is, the, this is, I find, like, it's a very crucial age where, like, either in high school, everybody, like, someone is trying to guide you through, like, hey, that you have your parents to tell you, parents to do this, to do that. But when you actually go to college or university, this is a bit different. This is just going to be you, yourself. I remember coming here, like, hey, you're going to... It's going to be you, you're doing your own timetable, you know what you want to do at this time, you know what class you want to take, you know what degree you want to take, you know what courses that really interest you. So these ages where like in college, it doesn't matter what age you are in, but even in college, this is where like it's very crucial to, to be yourself, to like now it's you to explore more things about yourself, explore things that you feel like, oh hey, I really need to do. And yeah, just go ahead and do whatever. And all the time, um, in college, it's just where it's a little bit, you can really, you can easily like astray or you can really go, you can easily like, I mean, astray may like, it's can, it can go really bad on you if you really have bad decisions. So you just have to be very cautious about them. Um, just listen to your, cautious, just listen to your own, listen to yourself. If you feel like you're not comfortable to do that thing, do not do it. Um, another thing I found with college is is that the group of friends you want to hang out with because this is what determine your performance and stuff like that. Uh, just choose wisely. Choose whatever friends you want to be with. If you don't, it won't hurt you to tell someone, hey, I don't feel like I want to hang out with you, and just take your time off and go 
find other kind of friends. Another thing I found very important for university is do not just focus on books alone. I'm just saying this. It's my own experience. Um, do not just focus on books alone. That's good. But at the same time, build your social foundation. This is, you can't just be, oh, okay, it's books only and it's going to be books only and nothing else. I really recommend you to actually have a social, have a social, um, also socially build yourself, have friends, have or at least like a few, a few days, not a few days, but I would say like on the weekend, just have your friends over or go to your friends and stuff like that. This is really good to like distress you like there's so much stress homework you gotta update like um you have to be keeping up to date with like homework and you have to keep all these things in mind so i would recommend you to actually like have a little bit of you know build your social foundation and stuff like that um another thing i also recommend is <clears throat> also like also build your own yeah social like i say your, phys your physical you know whatever you want to do like you can go to the gym you can go for a run that's just my own that's how i distress myself so i was really just like after school and i feel i'm really stressed out like 30 minutes of a run would really like bring me back to normal and yeah i know there's so much stress out there you need to keep up with all this thing paying bills and stuff like that and yeah and then another thing i found is like once you're almost another thing i will really like advise people to do volunteer in university because volunteer in the university also and um because this is a really good experience once you volunteer at university not just at university also outside in the community this is really good because once you're done school some people actually don't might actually you might get a job because you're you have experience working with a specific uh, organization and and another thing i found is like we get really stressed out when you're done school because you not everybody's ready to hire a university graduate okay um if you're not very lucky enough to get a really um get a job right away so for some of us who never got a job right away you really have to figure out um how to survive and then the same thing it's like do not do, once you graduate do not actually deny the fact that you need a job just go out and do whatever job it is as long as it's paying bills anyways as long as it's paying your bill because once you're done school they're gonna send six months later the student loan are gonna be like hey stop paying our money and then in the next few months after you're graduating let's say you finish in april so 25th so you have six days actually to start paying rent in may so where are you gonna get all that money from so anyways for some of us who actually don't have family here you have to start hustling okay it's not that easy so there's just a lot of things involved with university, finishing school. I would say, yeah, finishing your degree, but make sure experiences on the side just to help you because you can just have that degree, but if you don't have experiences, then it's just gonna be really hard to like cope with everything and build friends because it's friends of the same people actually once you're done school, they'll be able to they'll be able to like help you out. Once you're like, hey, buddy, wall, friend, whatever it is, whatever, how you call each other. Can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And the last thing I found in university is, it's very tricky, is you can have so many friends in university, like so many. But once you're done school, you'll be like, oh, hey, where did everybody go? <laughs> but this is something that is, I, I, it's a kind of, it's a little bit scary i would say for some people if you're a social person you have so many people around you in your university it can be really scary but at the same time just just don't really get panicky because you're grown up okay <laughs> you're moving from an age whereby you're young you're a teenager now you're an adult you're moving to different stage of life so at least they say quality is better than quantity so you never know this few friends have stuck with you right now after university they're the ones actually going to help you out in the future so don't really panic so yeah anyway so that's a little bit of what i can say um i will talk more about and as we go on with my videos just to kind of um see everything around but i just wanted to share my own experiences and see you know mention things here i haven't gone in deep detail but these are just a few things i want to share with everybody out there about education so just experience is the most number one thing and don't forget to you know build your social foundation because that's the most important thing i find 
whether it's relationship, whether it's friendship, whether it's family. Don't forget your family at the end of the day. Family is more important than anything else. So yeah, anyways, everybody. So that's just a little bit of what I, I will share about education. I haven't gone in depth. But yeah, so otherwise, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Otherwise, you guys have a good one. Bye.